you, you referenced the dot frank uh, rules just a, a few moments ago. Do you believe that Silicon Valley, <coughs> excuse me, do you believe that Silicon Valley's uh, <coughs> bank's failure could have been averted had those dot frank rules not been rolled back during the previous administration? So right now, and the president said this in his remarks on Monday, that we, we got to get a full accounting of what happened. We need to know exactly what happened uh, so we know who to hold accountable here. Uh, right now, uh, his economic team, the president's economic team, is focused on stabilizing the financial system and protecting depositors, not investors. We've been very clear about this. Uh, but again, it is not 2008. The banking system is far more resilient on a better uh, foundation, thanks to the tough requirements that were put in place by the uh, Obama-Biden administration. And I just said this moment moments ago, in 2018, we saw what the Trump administration did. Uh, they did roll back some of those tough requirements. But again, we need to see exactly do a full uh, full review, get a full accounting of what occurred, uh, uh, so we can make sure to hold those uh, to account. And the administration moved to insure all deposits at Silicon Valley Bank and Signature Bank through the FDIC's deposit insurance fund. So will that be the policy going forward for other bank failures? And in terms of future legislation, does the administration support changes to the existing $250,000 cap on uh, FDIC insurance limit for checkings and, and savings accounts? So again, I'm not going to uh, get ahead or go get into hypotheticals on um, what uh, what the future is going to hold, uh, and uh, and I've said this moments ago as well, which is look, we need Congress to act, uh, and uh, we need to Congress to, to take a look of, of of what else can be done. That's why we're supporting the legislation, the bipartisan legislation that I just mentioned. Uh, look, the president, as I mentioned also earlier, the president appointed uh, appointed uh, regulators over the past two years uh, to reverse the changes that we. Saw, uh, in the last administration. Uh, but again, Congress needs to act. As far as the 250,000 uh, deposit insurance limit, uh, we have we have more more to say on the specific regulatory changes in the next few days. I'm not going to get ahead of, of uh, what the regulators what the regulators are going to decide moving forward. But that's something that you guys are looking I'm at. I'm just not I'm just not going to get into specifics or get ahead of what they're what they're currently looking at or what we're going what they're going to be announcing. And then 